Hey, welcome to another week here at Tutorial. It is crazy what difference light makes. Not having had it here the last two years, the majority of time, obviously I have some movable lights that I use, work lights that I just use around, but really just having direct lighting from the ceiling coming down and not having to worry where I'm going in areas that really never had any, like for example, the hallway, we never had any lighting here is just amazing you can see the details of the building you can see things that you can see before and it's it's just amazing what difference it makes you don't realize that until you actually um, either turn on the light or it is you have always have continuously have the light but then this this need of the light goes away by basically just you have a power outage for multiple hours and then you realize how dark it can be in our dwellings without turning on the lights when especially on a day like today where it is raining and it's pretty dark outside we can actually just turn on the light and it feels like you are outside and have the sun on you it's it's an amazing invention that somebody made um, years ago obviously with Thomas Edison initially with the bulbs but now with um, LEDs um, having 
natural looking light that is more like sunlight. It's just amazing.
So I installed this dimmer really just for the purpose of testing what the bulbs, what the cans do if there is lower amperage coming through. So I am uh, taking it out again since this was just for a test purpose and I will set it up with currently um, for, the, for the meantime until we get all our smart switches. I am just gonna get the to the cheapest switches that we have from, from Lowe's. It doesn't make any difference, just so that as I'm working on the house um, and as we're finishing, we have the capability of turning on and off the lights. If you're wondering why I'm using these connector pieces everywhere, um, everywhere where I have a double light switch, I only want to have one power coming in. And with that one power coming in, I need to split it into three neutral out and three hot out. And then also I need to split the, um, the ground into four. The reason why I need four is because each line gets always, or actually five, because each line always gets a hot or a neutral in, but then also it gets a, the light switch itself will get a, a piece of, <clears throat> if you're wondering why I use these connector pieces in the boxes and I actually have them hanging out is um, the main reason I'm using them is when I come in into a double box for light switches, I need to have at least three hot and three neutral, uh, meaning obviously the one that is coming in plus the ones that is going to the first circuit and then going to the second circuit. Um, when I got actually come to the ground, I actually need four. And for that is one coming in, of course, where it goes back to the breaker box, but then the other one needs to have one that can connect the entire box. So grounds the box, the two light switches, and then each light itself needs to have a ground too. So I need to run that to each one of the lights too. Also, some people might say, um, these connectors are not good. You should use wire nuts. Um, actually, I did my research. They are rated um, just the same um, when it comes to the amperage for everything. As long as you use them correctly, I don't see this being an issue. And if in the future I find as it is, then I will just take some of those out and put them in. It's easy just taking the boxes, open the boxes and putting wire nuts in. I have another question for you guys. Here in the hallway, we have our long wall with a rounded edge at the end. And Julie is an artist, so she paints a lot with acrylic paint. Uh, acrylic paint. And so one of the ideas that I have that we are not sure yet what we want to do with is maybe adding some track lighting up in the hallway, just in this area and upstairs in the second, um, in the second floor just so that we can put small little spotlights onto all the different paintings at the different heights that they're gonna hang here uh, in the hallway. So what do you guys think of an idea of adding some tracks, um, two long wires, um, I think you can buy them um, at home improvement stores, I'll have to look. But basically those track lights that you can adjust and then 
basically use this for our lighting of art on the wall. One of the questions that you guys have asked here lately is when I'm going to do the electrical inspection. Well, that's a good question. Really, the electric is taking quite a lot of time because obviously having to run the lighting, but then also having to do all the receptacles. Luckily, we have finished the wiring for, mo for most of the receptacles. There's just one room here on the first floor that we still have to finish. And then the attic, um, I have not wired up at all. Um, and then in the, with, when it comes to the lighting, I have set can lights in all the rooms in the first floor besides the same room where I have not finished the lighting at all, uh, where I haven't finished the receptacles either. And I have not f fully wired up all the can lights, but that's gonna be in the next few weeks. So probably it's gonna take me about a week to finish the second floor to do the can lights and then wire them up and maybe another half week. So, I'll have lighting finished and then it's probably going to take me an entire week just doing all the outlets itself, plugging them in, making sure that it's done. And then we have to do the breakers. Uh, breakers is obviously a lot of work. We have to take each one of the circuits that we ran now to the breakers, uh, to the breaker sub panels and put them in, um, finish the sub panels and then we have to connect the sub panels also to the main breaker box so that we can actually have power everywhere. Um, there's also a few other things that I have not done that is the higher amperage uh, circuits with the range, uh, the stove, or for example, the dryer. So those things all have to do, I have to finish before I can get a final inspection done. But probably what's gonna happen is I will have an inspector come because we have a few questions and they can have a look and tell us if we need to make any adjustments or changes and then when we get the high amperage volt uh, high amperage um, device circuits done also then we will get the final inspection of the electrical which will be actually our first inspection um, that will be finalized um, i have not finalized the water and plumbing um, inspection just because um, it i i felt like i wanted to have the house insulated by the time i want to finalize the water because I don't have heating in the building until then. So having, uh, so the, that, that's why the water is, um, is not finalized and finished yet and inspected because it's just an issue with, to, for the inspection you have to have water running and everything. So therefore I don't wanna take the risk of freezing here and especially in the winter now uh, without having insulation. Well, I think this is it for this week. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.